Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, I'm going to tell you how you can run your executable jar file with the help of bat but without opening the cmd file. When you double click on the bat file, cmd will open and then your jar file will be run. But I don't want to open that cmd prompt. Let me show you the example here. So what is the problem? I have this jar file. This is executable jar, but somehow I'm not able to run it through double click. So what I will choose, I will go here, I will run the CMD and here I will type uh, basic command Java hyphen jar, the jar name to run my executable jar file. Okay, this way uh, my executable jar will run. Okay, now second way is the bat file. So, so I'm not going to run my jar file directly from this command prompt, but I will use bat file. But the problem with the bat file is when you double click on the bat file, this bat file first open this black and white command prompt and then this will run your jar application. Let me show you. So I have just created one bat file here and uh, let me show you what i have written here simple the same command which i have used on the command prompt but this is uh, the indirect way so we just simply double click on that fi bat file and this bat will call this command prompt and then command prompt will execute my command to run the executable jar now here i don't want to open this black and white command prompt every time when I am going to launch my application. So I'm going to tell you the solution for this. Let's begin. So guys, uh, this is the solution uh, useful the, in the cases when uh, you want to uh, run your executable jar file simply with the double click but uh, you are not able to do it in that case you can also use this method to sort out that double click problem in this case we will use this script and we will uh, pass some instruction that we don't want to open that command prompt every time whenever we are going to run our executable jar file so we'll see what is the solution here so i have noted down these steps these are the prerequisite steps uh, which are included here in this notepad so what i have here so first important thing is uh, i have uh, built my javafx project uh, with jdk 1.8 which is installed on my system So I have this executable jar ready for use and in the step 2 I have created a bat file and in the bat file I have given the command to run my jar file. I hope you guys are familiar with this command jar java hyphen jar my jar file name. this is the bad file the third step is the important one in this step I will create one uh, script file and I will save this script file with dot VBS extension and then I will paste given code and this important code given in description you can copy this code from that place so just create a notepad and save your notepad with dot vbs extension so i am doing the same here okay now you can see the extension is dot vbs and change the extension and save it and you will see such kind of icon at this place open this file in edit mode now we will come back here and then we will copy this small script and we will paste it here so basically what are trying to do we are going to run our bat 
uh, with the help of this shell okay so this is the script and we need to do a minor change here this is the path of our bat file so if your bat file is placed somewhere on your uh, system so you need to use the complete path this is the example one but in my case my bat file is placed just adjacent to this script file you can see this is dot vbs file and just we have this bat file placed so i will uh, remove that uh, complete path simple i will uh, use the name only that is sufficient no path uh, no no full path required okay this way i have given the bat file name so uh, this uh, vbs script allows us to double click on it and then this will call our bat file and bat file will execute our jar file and uh, finally we will get our application running here we go i just double clicked on this dot vbs file and you can see that application is running and uh, no cmd is open so this is the simple way to get rid of the opening of that cmd every time i hope you guys understood this concept if you found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching will i be help